Hey, what's going on everyone? I've got a game, it's uh, Modern Warfare 3 TDM on the map Dome here, and I joined a little late as you can see, it's like 12, or 13, 12 already. But here I am using the Scar L with uh, Blind Eye, Quick Draw, and I think it was Sit Rep, I didn't even see. Uh, this is a really old gameplay, I think it's from like the first night I had this game. I only played like, maybe not even an hour, I think I'm like level 12 this game, so. Um, yeah, but what I wanted to talk about is, I saw Wings of Redemption put up a video where he was like talking about if anyone doesn't know, I'll link his video in the info if anyone wants to check it out, but it was talking about how, like, Activision killed Guitar Hero, because they kind of made them release a new game, like, every six months, and they just kind of, I don't know if anyone ever played Guitar Hero or not, I think the first one I got was the second one, I think I had Guitar Hero 2 and 3, and then never bought another one, but those games were really fun, but Activision did kind of run them into the ground, they had them keep making games, like, every six months or so, and another thing, the DLC for the songs was retarded, um, I think it costs like two bucks to buy a song on Guitar Hero, which is just dumb as hell. <laughs> um, which is kind of what they're doing in Call of Duty now with all these map packs, because they said they're supposed to release one thing in DLC every month, which is going to suck if they're all like 15 bucks. But um, I don't know if they're going to run out Call of Duty necessarily, because they have one good game every year. Uh, Guitar Hero is kind of rehashed. It's kind of like Madden or any other sports games that come out like FIFA or something. They're pretty much, they add a couple new features, but... Mostly, they're the same game every year with updated rosters and stuff like that. Call of Duty, um, I think a lot of people are saying this is Modern Warfare 2.5, because every other previous Call of Duty had, like, a huge step in it. Like, if you look at the graphics from, uh, Call of Duty 4 to World of War, they looked, uh, really different, uh, different maps, stuff like that, different guns. Uh, Modern Warfare 2 was, like, insane compared to Call of Duty 4 with all the stuff they added. Um, Black Ops added a lot of stuff, too, um... As much as I didn't like Black Ops, it was still a pretty good game. It was just people who abused, like, the perks and stuff in it, which made it kind of crappy. But, um, Modern Warfare 3 looks pretty much the same as uh, Modern Warfare 2. Graphics are a little better, but they did polish up everything. They tuned everything up, balanced all the perks out. So, um, and it does have a new story in Spec Ops mode. So everyone who's saying it's Modern Warfare 2.5, uh, I only played, like, maybe two hours of the story, but it was really good so far. So, um, people who say that are just retarded who... Or yet have yet to buy the game um but what was i saying oh about them like killing call of duty i think uh call of duty is probably gonna be the top game for another couple years um i know rainbow six has a new game coming out in like a year or two which hopefully that's game gonna be good because i loved uh rainbow six vegas but um vegas 2 sucked balls so uh because that was a game like vegas sold a crap load of copies so they had to rush that out and it just wasn't good at all but um yeah, I don't know, here, I, I guess that's just my thoughts on it. I think Call of Duty's still gonna be the top game for another, like, maybe, like, two to four years, and then something else will come along, Call of Duty will lose its, uh, lose its flow, but I think they're gonna keep making them for a while, so, uh, yeah, I don't think it's gonna go the way of Guitar Hero, but, um, yeah, here I'm playing on Dome, which is probably one of my favorite maps so far, um, I don't really like the maps in this game, hopefully they'll make map packs where you can just play, like, old, older Call of Duty maps or something, because, too many buildings and stuff to camp in like even this game it would be good if they cut off that building to the left there and just had out here and like the fields and stuff um i don't know tdm seems really slow paced in this game so i've been playing a lot of ground war and uh i like ground war now because it has kill confirmed in it as well as domination and tdm and 9 on 9 tdm is pretty fun um without the explosive spam it's pretty cool there's no really like, Modern Warfare 2, you were just dying out of nowhere because... I think it was partly because the kill streaks too, they were so easy to get. Like, once you get a 5 kill streak, you can get a Harrier up pretty easy. So, um, people would just sit in their spawn in noob tube, and... It still annoys me when you see people noob tube in this game, or, like, use the RPGs. Um, it's just, like, really douchey. <laughs> I don't know why, but here I have the Reaper, and I don't think I get a kill with it. I suck with this gun. Oh, I get one kill. I suck with this gun pretty bad, or not this gun, this kill streak pretty bad. Um... I still use it, which I don't even know why. I should probably just, like, switch to, like, the Precision Airstrike or something. But I usually like to run, like, the 5, 9, 12 killstreaks in Ground Wars just because, uh, Pedro Missile will usually get you two, two kills at least in a 9v9 game and then just get a couple more for the Reaper. But, I don't know, I think the best perk in this game so far is probably Assassin, which a lot of people use it in TDM. I think it's, that's one of the reasons why it slows it down, but the UAVs are so easy to get just because, um, you don't have to die, you can die and still get one, so, when you have UAVs up constantly, I think that's why a lot of people want to run Assassin, and I think the counter, or not the counter UAV, but the advanced UAV should show people who have Assassin on the radar, I think it should be like an assault kill streak, like a 10 streak or something, you just make it exactly like the Blackbird was, because 
Assassin's kind of seems a little overpowered right now, but uh, gameplay's over. That was just my thoughts. Like I said, I'll put Wings' this video in the info if anyone wants to check it out. Um, and if you're not subscribed, check out my channel. I post uh, Modern Warfare 3 videos. So that's it, guys. Peace.